Let me show you how to transfer um, uh, or clone an SD card from different size cards. This is a very common uh, situation you get yourself into. Um, I have an SD card here. If I'll put this in, you can see that uh, SD clone 3 shows that uh, the size of the card is 7.95 gigabytes, which is what they advertise as an 8 gig card. So I'll eject that, and this is uh, this is a Kingston card that I bought. It doesn't really, or I'm sorry, it's a Sandisk card. Like yeah, it doesn't really matter the brand name because this can happen even within the same uh, same brand name and same type of card. And then I have a Kingston one that's also an eight gig card, and I'll put this in, and you can see that this one is a 7.97 gigabyte card. So um, if you wanted to make a clone of the 7.97 gigabyte card and try to put it on the the smaller one, it wouldn't fit, right? Because there's more data on that one card than there is on the, or there's more capacity on this um, uh, Kingston one than there is on this SanDisk one. But that's one of the great features of SD Clone is if you have uh, a Raspberry Pi uh, image on there, it has a Linux partition and we're able to shrink that partition down so you can restore it onto SD cards that are um, smaller. So let me show you to do that. There's two ways to do it. One that's a, kind of a, a fast way to do it, but does involve changing the, the source. Um, and then there's a safer way to go about doing it, which means that you create an image of it, restore that to a disk image, shrink that disk image, make another image of it, and restore that. So I'll walk you through each one of those scenarios. Um, so the first one we'll do is, is the quick and easy way to do it. So you just select this uh, larger SD card, and I click on Shrink. And if I click on OK, and what that does, it shrinks the file system down uh, the, of the last Linux partition to just the size that's used. And you can see that the use space is 740 megabytes. So I'll select that, and I'll save an image of it. We'll say, oh, save image, and we'll call this uh, original uh, shrunk, shrunk SD card. Okay, and I will save that to the desktop. All right, that's done. So I've, I've saved this one. You can see it's the original shrunk SD card is on there. Um, this one that is that I, that I shrank the file system on, um, before I can use it again, of course, I want to expand it. Um, but we'll do that. We can do that at a later time. I'll go ahead and eject that and remove the SD card. Now I'll put in the, the other SD card that is, uh, was it 7.95 gigabytes? So you can see, yes, it's 7.95 gigabytes. But now we can easily restore this image because it's 740 megabytes recorded to the file system. So I'll select it, uh, select the destination, and I'll say restore to volume. And now it'll go ahead and restore that, um, that original image onto the, this new SD card. And then it's going to expand that uh, last uh, Linux partition so it takes up the remainder of the space. And so they will end up basically with the same same basic uh, data on both cards, but one's on a 7.97 gig card and the other one's on a 7.95 uh, gig card. All right, now it's completed, and you can see that I now have this uh, card has restored the data. It's basically the exact clone of the other one, except it has slightly less, uh, less use space on it. So let me eject that. And let's start over and do this, uh, I'll remove this one. Um, and I'll start over, but do this in a way that's safer because I actually had to change the original to be able to do it. So let me, let me put the original back in and I will expand the file system on it. All right, so now we're back to at the very beginning where we were before. Let me eject this card. And um, so we're in a situation where we have this SD card that is 7.97 gigs, and we want to move it over to this 7.95 gig card. But we don't want to modify the source. So what I'll do is I'll actually lock the card. So now it's, it's locked, so I can't make any changes to it. Um, or at least it'll, uh, it'll be locked. Um, and what we're going to do is take a... Uh, wind clone image of this uh, of the entire card. So I'll go ahead and save that card and I'll call this original original unshrunk SD card and we'll say it's 7.7 
seven gigabytes. Okay, and I'll save that to the desktop. And it's prompting me to see if I want to shrink it first, but I don't want to. I just want to save that original size uh, image. Original, or the image of the, the full SD card. All right, it's now completed. And so we've saved a, an image uh, of every uh, block on that SD card. Uh, so it's going to take up almost 8 gigabytes on, um, my, uh, on my computer. Um, but we now know we have a good copy of the original. So I'll go ahead and eject the original SD card. And I'll take this and, and I'll put this back, put into a vault somewhere that, that says that this is, oh, this is the original Gold Master 1. And so we don't, don't ever want to mess with this. Um, and so one of the things that uh, SD Clone is doing now is it's actually calculating the size of the compressed image. So the actual uh, size of the image on the disk, uh, the actual size of the image on the disk uh, is uh, a compressed version of the, uh, or is the, um, yeah, it's compressed version of the, all the data that was on there before. So um, we can see that it requires 7.97 gigabytes. Um, so we'll select this. And instead of, if we try to restore this back to um, this SanDisk card, which I'll, I'll go ahead and try and do, right? Because that this really shows the issue that we're running into. We create an image of that original one. Uh, we select it, and now we want to select and restore to this one. And we say restore, and we're going to get an error message. It says one or more of the destinations are too small. Um, so we can't restore it because it's just slightly too small. Um, but the, the way to around that, let me check this, is to restore this original one to a disk image and then shrink the disk image. So we go ahead and do that. Select restore disk image. Click on restore disk image, and we'll call this... Uh, uh, GM uh, SD card uh, disk image. All right, now that's completed. And so we have this disk image that, again, this is an exact replication of, a, of that original GM card, but it's, and it's still 7.97 gigabytes. But now, since it's a read-write sparse disk, disk image, we can shrink it. So I'll click on shrink and click on OK. And that operation was very fast because, again, it's, it's on my SSD. So now you can say the use space is 775 uh, megabytes, 755 megabytes. So I'll select that, and I'll save an image of it. And we'll say this is GM shrunk from disk image. Okay. And uh, it'll, I'll go ahead and save that. And again, this operation should be relatively quick because, again, it's not using a lot of data. It's not, it's not trying to um, clone a lot of data um, as well as it's doing it onto an SSD. So this operation is relatively quick. And once we've done that, we now have an image that is just to use data that we can restore onto a card that is at least seven, 755 megabytes or larger. So that means if I had a 1 gig card, a 2 gig card, a 4 gig card, 8 gig card, whatever, I could restore it onto uh, that, that card. Um, for our circumstance, we only want to restore it onto a 7.95 gig card, which is just slightly smaller than the original. But this will allow us to do that. All right, it's completed. So let me eject the, uh, the, uh, the SSD, or sorry, the uh, original SD card, or the disk image. And so now I have my SanDisk uh, micro SD card, and I will insert this in. It's not locked. And this is the one that was uh, 7.95. So you can see it's 7.95. So let's review kind of the situation we have. We have a 7.95 gig card, which is what we want to restore to. We have the original unshrunk, which if we tried to restore that, would give us an error message. But now we have a shrunk version of it that was shrunk from a disk image without touching the original at all. So I'll take the, this one, I'll select the source, and I'll select the destination, which is that smaller SD card, and I'll restore it. And again, this one's going to be very fast, too, because it's only restoring 756 megabytes of data. Uh, it doesn't have to restore the entire 8 gigs because uh, it's only restoring data that's actually used. And then again, once it's restored, it'll expand that la last partition, um, that last uh, Linux or extended 234 partition. And it'll use up the entire space on the hard drive or on the, S on the uh, SD card.
It is a hard drive. It's a very small hard drive, physically. All right, now it's complete. And so we now have an SD card um, with the uh, contents of that original SD card that was 7.97 gigabytes were stored onto a 7.95 gigabyte SD card um, with the same data that's on it. And so now we can go ahead and use that. And one of the key things, uh, we did it two ways. One of the key ways, the first way is that we did it fast by just shrinking the file system on the original card, making an image of it, and then restoring it. On the, um, the second way, which is, which is safer, we locked the card um, just as a precaution, created an image of all the use space, then we restored it to disk image, shrank it, created an image of that, and then restored that onto a 7.95 gig or onto a smaller SD card.